welcome SRL fans to another review and news video. This time for the Brazilian Grand Prix, the last race of the season, uh, so last race of season three at Interlagos and Sao Paulo. So let's have a look how the race went. Uh, jumping into the qualifying session now, yes, Lampinem got pole position, his second pole of the season of, after Monza. Last race winner, Louis Marshall in second, then it's Nick van Gelder, Sandro Dulles, Randy van Estep, Colin Higgins, Louis Quinlan, Jürgen Rosic, Ethan Croft, Dion Stahl, Franz McGinn didn't qualify, and Ken Weston Edwards ha has a qualifying ban for contact with Sandro Dulles at Abu Dhabi. So the race went off with yes, playing the lead, then it's Louis Marshall. And we can see uh, Francis McGinn and Ken Weston Edwards making their way to the front on the start. But uh, that was already a first collision between Louis Quinlan and also, uh, I think, even Croft. Uh, they g went around. And also Nick van Helder, he was running in P2 at, at, on lap 3, but then he spun going into turn 3, uh, into turn 4. He went around and lost a lot of uh, time and spaces, but the big drama was on lap 3 when leader uh, Jesper Levinen went around uh, going through uh, the penultimate corner. He lost a lot of time and a lot of uh, positions. He dropped down to 6th place. Here we can see um, Franz McGinn and Ken Wilson Edwards making their way to the top, uh, but they got holed up by each other because they had an amazing battle, battle, great battle for several laps going on. The first victim of the race was Ethan Croft, retiring on lap 8. Uh, the next one following um, was uh, Nick van Gelder. He went into the pits, he popped his uh, re uh, right rear tire and he went into the barriers in uh, on the pit lane entry. He was out of the last race of the season. And then, big crash, upside down went Jesper Lampion after he tried to move on uh, Francis McGinn on lap 27 on the front stretch. Uh, on the front straight, he got around, hit the wall hard, and went upside down. Then Cam Weston Edwards running in P5, he got a puncture. Then when the rain started, he dropped down a few spots. So the rain started uh, onto intermediate tires, but nothing more happened. So another, it's another uh, Mercedes 1-2 with Lewis Marshall winning the race in front of Randy Fennerstab. Uh, a podium to end the season for Sandra Dulles. Then it's Francis McGinn making, who made his way up to P4. Cam Weston Edwards in P5, Louis Quinlan 6th. 7th is Dion Stahl, Conal Higgins 2 laps down in 8th, and Jesper Lempinem, Nick van Helder, Jürgen Marusic and Ethan Croft uh, retired of the race. So here are the final standings of Season 3. Bart Gudelda, obviously, the champion for Red Bull Racing. Then it's Killian Brady in 2nd with Franz McGinn, Sandro Dulles in 4th, um, being able to outscore Camus Edwards in 5th. Then it's Renny Fennestab making a big uh, move in the second half of the season to P6. Then it's Nick van Gelder, Jesper Lennon, uh, Louis Marshall, Alex Manchetti dropping down to 10th after missing a lot of races in the second half of the season. Then it's Dion Stahl, Andrew Heff, Louis Quinlan, Senna Staket, and Ethan Croft, Nick Ferrix, John Burney, Jure Marusic, Jan Holm, Colin Higgins, Rob Sawyer, Sam van Elven, Samuel Brand, Pedro Mesquita, who only participated in round one at England. Then it's Kasper Fligari, Easton Rees, and the disqualified Jennifer Payton. The Constructors' Championship, um, obviously, McCollum Honda, as you can see, won the Constructors' Championship by a big margin over Red Bull Racing. Uh, Red Bull Racing, uh, though, is level on points with Mercedes, but they outscored him by uh, the tiebreaker. So here we can see some stats. Um, the most poles of the season, uh, obviously, got our champion, Bart Goodelder. Then it's Killian Brady on 5, Jesper Lindfinan on 2, Yannick Verbeten also on 2, which obviously are uh, encumbered. Then we go over to the fastest laps. Killian Brady got the fastest laps, laps trophy of Season 3 with 5 fastest laps. Franz McGinn in 2nd, Bart Kudel in 3rd, Yannick Verbeten uh, encumbered in 4th. Then it's Sandro, Jesper, Cameron, Samuel all on 1 fastest lap this uh, this season so we have some big news our uh, our official SL league website launched uh, on monday so go and check out uh, link in the description go and check it out uh, samuel brandt and me Sandra Dulles, they put a lot of work in it and it uh, it's great uh, just check it out link in the description Moving over to a big event. The next race will be um, on Saturday at uh, 2.30 uh, p.m. UK time. The Indianapolis 500 on Project Cast 2. It's going to be live on YouTube. Uh, probably uh, the biggest race in SL history. So make sure you won't miss that one. 
very excited for that. And now it's time to say thank you to all of our fans, drivers, supporters who, who are supporting us every single race who are watching the live streams. Thank you guys. Um, it's great how far, how big this league has get. Um, and we can't wait for season four. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys. It wouldn't be uh, possible for us um, without you. So. Like I said, a big thank you to you guys. And now we're going to see you, hopefully, at Indianapolis on Saturday. Thank you guys for this great season three. I'll see you in season four, guys.